Joining us now from Washington is CBS News Chief Legal Correspondent Jan Crawford. Jan, good morning. Good morning, Harry. Excuse the expression, but going into this trial, I'm sure the prosecutor said this is going to be a slam dunk. We've heard the language used over and over about Abe Lincoln rolling over in his grave. One out of 24 counts. That's not a very good batting average. Harry, this is a huge setback, something Patrick Fitzgerald could never have imagined in his worst nightmares. And I thought the face, I mean, his face in Barry's piece mm -hmm. was really telling. He was incredibly subdued. This is not what they expected. Now they've got to, you know, start all over again. And we can see the former governor just gloating about it. Is it possible that Blagojevich is really only guilty of being a blowhard and that in, <laughs> in, ter in terms of the actual law here, well, he, he may not be prosecutable? Well, you know, certainly I think the prosecution really failed to prove, as we saw yesterday, there was this great sense of overconfidence by the prosecution because they never were able to show that he was a criminal, that he was just a bad governor. I mean, they thought that the jurors were going to be shocked by these tapes. We saw how profane he was. But what they really showed was that he was this profane, loudmouthed guy. And jurors in Chicago are not shocked by politicians who talk that way. I mean, the defense really kept it simple. Mm. Follow the money. And they were never, the prosecution was never able to show that that money went yeah. in his pocket. Also interesting that, and especially on, on that one, one uh, aspect of this prosecution, this whole business of a uh, pay for play and, and that, uh, getting this Senate seat, you've got one juror who, who sat there and said, I don't get it. I don't see what you all see. This is also a little bit of a, a, a lesson for everybody in, in how, how jurisprudence works. Right, in the way our system works, the way our democracy works, that, you know, it just takes one. You've got to get all 12. I mean, those checks are put in place for a good reason. But, you know, I mean, we don't know, as, as uh, Mr. Goldstein said, we don't know how they split on some of those other counts. And that split is important. If it was 11 to 1 on all those, I think the prosecution would feel much more confident going forward. But we don't know that right now. Mm -hmm. Certainly the jurors can talk to the press. But I think this is a, a real issue now going forward for the prosecution. Uh, the defense should feel, I think, and we saw it in that. That interview that Erica did, uh, the defense is feeling pretty confident right now. Yeah, they do feel strong. All right, emboldened <laughs> even. Jan Crawford, thank you very much. Do appreciate it. Thank you, Harry.